So what's up people and welcome to another Alita Battle Angel slash Gummu video. So nothing with regards to the story or the movie or anything like that today. Today I want to talk about other YouTubers. There are a lot of other quality YouTubers out there that produce Alita Battle Angel, Battle Angel Alita, Gummu videos. And so what I wanted to do today is to go over this. The reason I'm doing this, and I want to give a thanks to Charles Schmidt. He often leaves uh, comments, very nice ones, in the videos that I post. And he gives updates with regards to the profitability of the movie and what we may expect in DVD sales and stuff like that in his comments. And I'm hoping that he does that again here so that if you're interested, you can take a look at his calculations and see what you think about the profitability uh, expectations for the DVD sales and the eventual overall profitability of the franchise or this movie. But in any case, uh, he suggested and listed some of the other YouTubers, uh, many of them which I am familiar with, but a lot of them which I was not. And so what I figured is, hey, why don't I just uh, bring it up on the video so that if you don't know of some of these, then uh, it might be worth checking out. Many of these, of course, you know, and some of these are so famous that I don't think... Uh, I need to mention this, but I will because they are very good YouTubers. Anyway, but before that, uh, since this is kind of like a shout out sort of video, I do want to give one special shout out to Kodansha Comics, which of course is the publisher of Battle Angel Alita as the comic. And they do have a YouTube channel here. And the reason I want to give a shout out, and I'll leave a link to their channel and their specific video with regards to Yukito Kishiro drawing Gammu. Yeah, it's a treat. He's drawing one of the images. And I know which one this is. This is from Mars Chronicle. And it's a really nice uh, video with regards to seeing how he makes these beautiful drawings of uh, Alita. Now, of course, for anybody who hasn't seen Mars Chronicle, you'll get a little bit of a treat in seeing uh, little Alita, you know, hugging this other gentleman who I won't mention who he is uh, to avoid spoilers. But uh, for anybody who's read Mars Chronicle, you'll know exactly what the scene is. Anyway, so I'll leave a link to Kodansha Comics. Thank you very much, Kodansha Comics, and keep up the good work. And for anybody who's interested, you know, in other animes such as Fairy Tail, Attack on Titan, Seven Deadly Sins, they have other artists who are doing their drawings there as well. So that is a nice channel to go to. Okay, so with regards to the list that Charles Schmidt provided... Uh, he provided some uh, very interesting uh, YouTubers. Doc Ito, everybody knows Doc Ito. Uh, aside from the fact that he's the one who rebuilt Alita and brought her back to life again. He somehow came out from uh, Iron City and uh, decided to post a YouTube channel. So thank you very much, Doc Ito. You know, I hope you're doing okay. I hope New Nurse Gerhard is doing okay. I hope Elita is doing okay. And thank you very much for all your posts with regards to the update on the possibilities of a sequel. Doc Ido probably gives some of the most uh, up-to-date updates with regards to the possibilities of a sequel. So it's a good channel to follow up on. Uh, also, he suggested, uh, trust me, I am a Jedi. I didn't know this channel. Although, if uh, I am a Star Wars fan, I would be very interested in this channel, considering the fact that it is called Trust Me, I Am a Jedi. And so I went to look at it, and yeah, there's some very interesting uh, videos. Once again, this is a lot about the potential future of sequels and, you know, the situation update with regards to this movie. And he does give uh, some interesting musical videos as well and so I would suggest to go see that one. I'll leave a link to all of these uh, YouTubers on the description section of the video. 
Uh, the next one is vladdy 99 Once again, another YouTuber I didn't know about. So once again, thank you very much, Charles Schmidt. And he provides videos on Rosa Salazar. And so if you want to know any updates with regards to things happening in Rosa Salazar's life, then uh, you could go there and see the tons of uh, videos with regards to that actress. And uh, the next one is The Last 300. And he is uh, pretty well known, and so I don't think I have to really introduce uh, him. But uh, yeah, this gentleman provides uh, really nice satires to uh, the Alita and other uh, videos and movies. And so if you want to get a good laugh, then I will go there. Uh, he has this series called Protect Alita. Um, part one to I think part three recently and so it's a good video to go get a good laugh while getting some updates with regards to Alita he does a really nice video essays on them uh, also a new gentleman YouTube hoster named Tan Kwam Leo and he gave a really nice artistic essay with regards to the art style for or the artistic background for Alita Battle Angel and so if you would like to hear his essay then uh, I would go uh, check it out and I would suggest to do so since this is I think his second YouTube video so give him a nice support and go see it and give it a like okay so these are some of the lists of the people that uh, he suggested and I thank Charles Schmidt again I'll leave a link to all of these uh, channels in my description section and next I would like to go over specific videos that recently I've been looking at and kind of enjoying and so the first one is from Enigma Seeker uh, he gave a video with regards to Panzerkunst and some of the spiritual side of the martial arts and how it may relate to real world martial arts and so if you're interested in seeing that then I will leave a link to that video uh, now star of Elyon who also gives nice updates with regards to the status of the movie and potential sequels and all that he um, brought out a uh, video called There Were Spies on Dark Phoenix set which talks uh, interesting background with regards to thoughts with regards to why things are being moved around like that you know why movies are being moved around and why they're being promoted or not promoted in certain ways so if you want to go check out that video then I'll leave a link to that uh, Gen X Strikes Back has brought out some uh, nice videos. Uh, one of them is for, uh, uh, well, this Last Order, I'm sorry, Last Order video. And so it is a little bit of a spoiler, but it covers one of my favorite battles in Last Order, which is the Zizi Frau X battle. So if you want to go see that in uh, musical format, then uh, I'll leave a link to that as well. But he also left a video with regards to how another anime or another manga called Iria Zerum looks very much like Alita Battle Angel. And that was really nice because it really brought back memories. No, I never saw the anime or the manga of Iria Zerum. But I did see the live action movie way long time ago. And yeah, that's a really whacked out movie. I don't know about the manga and don't know about the anime, but that movie was, yeah. It's one of those things where you're like, okay, did I actually see that or was that a, in my dream or something like that? Because it's one of those B-class sort of uh, Japanese movies with, uh, you know, this kind of uh, alien looking thing coming out and, uh, you know, superhero uh main character who's a female uh, character coming out and the reason of course that uh, Jenna Strikes Back brings this up is of course uh, again the portrayal of a strong female character in manga and anime and how this is not particularly unique and so I thought I would bring this up and of course 
he is right. I mean, strong female characters are not new in manga and anime. And aside from Iria Zerum, there are others, you know, just off the top of my head, there's one called Azumi, which is about a young girl who is a ninja, a really strong ninja. But she's one of the nicest people you ever seen, and she always tries to do everything possible to not kill people. But for some reason, all these people around her always want to fight her. And unfortunately, most of them all die. And so if you want to go see that, then、uh, it's written by a mangaka named Yu Koyama, I think is his name. He did another、uh, comic which I really loved called Ore wa Chokkaku. And he did a famous one about a boxer called、uh, Ganbare Genki. But his Azumi series took off really well. It's a little bit older, and so you may not know about this series, but it did so well that、uh, there w a s several live action movies that were made with regards to this uh, comic. Uh, there's also、uh, Claymore. Claymore is another one that's、uh, very famous for、uh, not only a strong character, a female main character, but basically the majority of the strong characters that come out in that is,、uh, are female. And they're all about t h e s e female monster hunters that go out to hunt monsters. And so it's an interesting、uh, kind of comic. If you like the berserk sort of、uh, kind of、uh, dark comic, then you may like Claymore as well.、Uh, I think it was written by a gentleman named Norihiro Yagi. Yeah. And Claire, who's the main character from that, is a pretty cool main character. And probably the most recent, which is quite、uh, well known, is、uh, Akame Ga Kill. And、uh, that's also, no, it's not really a samurai or a ninja style. This is about assassins in a kind of a fantasy type of setting. Think of Final Fantasy with tons and tons of blood and gore, and you might get Akame Ga Kill. And although Akame, who's the、uh, main character, she's a pretty badass、uh, swords lady, I guess.、Uh, one of the reasons why this one was notable is it has one of the best female villains I have seen in manga. Yeah, her name is e d s d e a t h and she is terrifying. But considering how terrifying she is and how sadistic she is, In not only killing people, but torturing them to the most extreme way possible. Fans love e s d e a t h Yeah, e s d e a t h is such a cool character. And so, yeah, if you want to see a really good female villain, go check out Akame Ga Kill. Anyway, so yeah, thank you very much to Gen X Strikes Back for bringing good memories with regards to Iria Zerum. Uh, let's see then. Reven, or Revan, I'm sorry. It should be Revan since uh, you're uh, a Sith. Uh, anyway, uh, he's brought out an、uh, interesting、uh, essay with regards to how the movie Alita Battle Angel compared to the comic Battle Angel Alita may be comparable to something like. Uh, Batman's、uh, comic versus The Dark Knight Returns. We shouldn't assume that the movie is going to be exactly the same as the comic, and yet it still can、uh, cover the same sort of look and feel the same way The Dark Knight Returns is a much darker version of Batman, and yet it still has that same sort of look and feel. And so it's a very nice essay, and I'll leave a link to that video as well. And finally, Radio Chaos is doing a nice walkthrough play by play of the classic、uh, PC game Battle Angel Alita Martian Memory. So, if you want to take a look at that and see how that story goes, because it is a different story than Battle Angel Alita and Alita Battle Angel, and so yeah, it might be an interesting one to follow. I'll leave a link to his very first. Episode of the walkthrough. Well, that's about it for this video, and I wanted to thank all those other YouTubers for posting such quality posts, and I also want to apologize if I missed any of you out there.
I'll go back to posting my usual Alita Battle Angel, Battle Angel, Alita Gunmu videos in the future, and I hope you join us at that time. But in any case, um, thank you very much for watching the video. If you have any comments, please post them in the comment section below. And until the next time, happy YouTube video watching, happy Alita Battle Angel movie watching, and as always, giant nice day everyone.